Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> what? This is mental, dog. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ea Raman. This is like a sí, world no colliding. Like, so, like the Legends. greatest of the greatest just coming together and be like, splat on your face. And that's what we're about, baby. So this is Siti Nurhalisa singing Mumbeva live in the Ea Raman concert. This year, it was this 2023. Year. I don't know when this happened, but we keep getting sent it, so I presume it's fairly, fairly recent. recent. Yeah. Question mark? <laughs> A little. I swear to you, this woman can. There's nothing on this earth that this woman cannot do or sing. Again, this is not completely crazy to me, though. Given Malaysia's uh, classical folk music, they've we saw got, City sing this. They've got so many different layers. Just given the fact that they got so many influences, like they've got Arabic melismas under their belt. They've got like a, Indian, a, classical. Indian Karnatic kind of classical into their into their own folkloric music. And they also have a vast, very open, wide genre pool of music in their common uh, modern music now. Yeah, Malaysia is a very interesting place when it's it comes really to like, cool. music. It's really cool. So this is not completely blowing my mind no, to the to, to the levels if I didn't understand why. Yeah. But this is pretty freaking crazy. It's to still mental because yeah. you would presume she doesn't speak Hindi. And I and I, I would dare as well say that this might be Tamil because yeah. it's Aya Raman. Correct, it could be. Listen to the people going mad. This would also suggest though, that she's capable of adapting her technique yeah, into yeah. Um, a much more different classical-esque, Indian classical-esque technique. Because the way she sings usually, it's not like this. It's a very, actually quite westernized. Like she, she, she has normal ballads and pop hits. You know, and I'm actually quite, I'm actually quite uh, familiar with the way she sings, like her technique in bass. Yeah, it's actually I'm quite familiar with that technique. Like uh, it's, we've reviewed it's, quite a bit of her work. You know, it's very similar to the Western te uh, technique I grew up uh, uh, learning. So it uh, putting it putting it in like two and two together, it's kind of so crazy. I'm saying how, how mind blowing this is. I have no idea. So at this spot, I guess she's an example of someone that you can learn and then be able to access both techniques willingly. Um, I suppose without I su contaminating mm. either or or de e causing detrimental effects by learning one way and then being able and open enough to learn another way yet that doesn't mean that the skill level of the first the first way you've acquired mm -hmm. technical singing uh, sort of reduces or I think what we're it. witnessing it's a hybrid of techniques like a mixture of both I don't think it's it's completely yeah I don't yeah. think it's completely aligned with one specific way of singing I wish I could see her larynx movement to yeah, actually assess yeah. clearer the idea of what technique and how how she's utilizing certain movements of the larynx but again this is phenomenal <laughs> yeah. Shout out to AR's back in vocals. Oh, yeah, they're freaking... Unreal as well. Goddesses, goddesses. Yeah, goddesses. Sheesh. Oh, who's the guy? Bro, listen to the crowd. Hello, brother. Listen to the <laughs> crowd, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The crowd's going feral. I don't recognize him. Why is 
keep doing that. <laughs> I love that AR looks like a DJ, like a master DJ. Well, he is like the David Foster. It is of the Indian musical industry. Of Asia, I, I would say. Yeah. I mean, the thing about... I would love a David Foster and A.R. Rahman. Could you imagine? Very, very different sort of approaches to music. But again, it's music at the end of the day. <sighs> it would work, I the would say. The best fusion album ever, though. Yeah, and even because David Foster, you know, he always does like David Foster and Friends, right? He does, yes. And he brings out everyone. He's brought out City before. He has, yeah. You know? In the next time he brings AR and then AR brings out someone else and then that someone else brings out <laughs> David Foster and then they <laughs> and then it's the David Foster AR Rahman madness of the multiverse of madness <laughs> I would be really intrigued on seeing her throat man as she sings me too I would love to see her Oh, he's got like stars and like a general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ripping that. She can also be cool. so full. Uh, she hard. does. I, I think that's where it did. Oh, we get crowd reaction. <laughs> That's sick. Wow, the whole place oh my is God, packed. He's packed. That is so cool. So she was yeah. like a special yeah. guest. Yeah. Uh, totally. Where was this? Was this in Malaysia? Were I they don't in know, Malaysia? man. I, I, Where were they? It wouldn't surprise me if uh, it was in Malaysia. That's a great song, though, by the way, as well. Like, it's it keeps repeating in my mind. I love, I love the ability I think of, it was Tamil, yeah. Uh, I love the ability that she, it, she has of maintaining her natural signature way of singing, as well as paying tribute, like, very close to the original song as well. That's actually so nice. What a cool element of things. Oh, and it seems her, um, the original singer of Mumbai, it, it's, I, th I was going to say at the beginning, but I wasn't sure because I think it got requested in the previous podcast that uh -huh. we just did. That got blocked, by the way. So if you can't find it, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> Eya Raman, actually. Actually, yes. <laughs> SMEs it was, it was the one that blocked it. Um, <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it. So see you later, podcast. It was nice knowing you. Um, <laughs> All right, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was Shreya who originally sang this song. Ah, that's and there, right. And there, there are people also in the comments saying, like, seeing someone with, like, Western technique mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. try this song would be, like, insane. Like, it, that, that, it wouldn't really come out that great. But then seeing someone from Malaysia, and then especially someone like Siti Nurhaliza, who also does a lot of classical in Malay, um, is more what would you say attainable technically for someone like that because they they do are they are more influenced and they are more exposed to influences of both melismas and then classical in the I think I think the beauty of uh, Malaysian folkloric music is the gigantic pool of influences that they've got there it actually is a bit of a cheat code uh, code if you think about it from like a, a singing perspective because you they're able to access individual uh, very strong influences from from uh the indian carnatic uh, is a sound it included including it into like a more modernistic more westernized way of singing which is so freaking mental. Again, a hybrid. There are some people here saying like uh, she tried her best and it was all right. I, and then, like it wasn't that impressive. The interesting thing about um, this is the problem when like you have someone like Shreya do the original song. Oh, right? yeah. Then people are going to compare it. Mm. But then that would be like City singing in Malay. So, I like, would be like Shreya sing singing in Malay. Um, and I... Very and singing West a folkloric. Yeah, and yeah. I, even a westernized song. Um, someone like Shreya wouldn't translate actually that well into Western pop. 
Uh, that that would be fa fairly weird and and difficult. It's the same. It's the same as like uh, when you have in 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 the West, you have classically trained singers. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. do very poorly transition wise for a good while. It's not doesn't mean that they can't ever uh, transition, but at the beginning, it's very uncomfortable and awkward for them to do pop. Yeah, because the translation between classical like uh, Western singing into popular music it's it's a world away from difference and the adapting process between the two genres is actually very difficult for the singer and very little people manage to do it correctly so and i th it, it applies in both in both cases so you put that into perspective what city has done here mm -hmm. is fucking special bro it is it is you can't you can't take away any credit from the ability of adapting to a new language, the ability of adapting to a new way of singing, uh, uh, kind of modifying your personal technique to pay homage to the original, yeah. regardless of who the original singer might be. That's, yeah. that's, that's top as it yeah, gets. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, goodbye.